Woo! Don't inhale paint, kids. Yo guys, Jonathan here, and it is no secret I love desks, I love setups, but this one in particular next to me is beautiful. The gray mixed with the custom blue and red drawers look amazing, and shout out to my boy Etika, because this is clearly Daikon Boys inspired. Now the goal in mind with this was not only to create the perfect setup where you could dock and play your Switch, but to actually switch between the Nintendo Switch, the NES Classic, and a fully functioning computer. So the centerpiece of the setup is the Alex desk from Ikea, which is one of my favorite desks of all time. I will admit it does hold a special place in my tech heart because it pays tribute all the way back to the original Dream Desk. That was showcased in white. This of course is in gray, but what's awesome is back then it was priced in around 170 bucks and now it has dropped all the way down to 130. Something you're not gonna find at Ikea, however, are those super sweet custom blue and red drawers, which when paired to the gray of the desk, look incredible next to the Switch. So the process behind this really wasn't too crazy. We pulled the drawers out and from there, spray painted them with a two-in-one primer spray paint combo. Now, if you're wondering what kind of paint we use, then no, this is not a sponsor so much. In fact, I gotta look down to see what these are called. We got a little Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch action in Satin Poppy Red and Satin Oasis Blue. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the end result came out way better than I ever could have hoped for. The drawers are vibrant, they pop, and really make the desk look like they were meant for the Switch. Now, hands down, one of the best things about this desk is the integrated cable management because without it, this would look like a rat's nest paradise. This setup in particular was a little more complicated than most simply because there are multiple devices going into a single monitor. You pair that with the speakers and hiding cables became a little tricky, but the end result was pretty fantastic. Now the magic behind this setup is located in the blue drawer behind me. Inside there is a Kinevo HDMI switcher. And what this is gonna allow us to do is jump back and forth between the Switch, the NES Classic, and a super tiny Intel NUC, which is a crazy valued mini PC, which comes in under 300 bucks. Now, unfortunately, both the Nintendo Switch and the NES Classic are pretty much impossible to find right now. But if you need to have one right now, I'll post a couple links down below where you can scoop one up if you don't mind paying markup. So what I have the Switch, the NES Classic, and the nut going into is a Samsung CFG70, which is a pretty badass 27 inch curved gaming monitor. So funny enough, during the infancy stages of the setup, I actually posted a teaser on Instagram with a 23 inch Acer monitor. That's actually much cheaper around hundred bucks, but I got a ton of requests to go for a bigger monitor. So that's why I ended up going the Samsung route. But if you don't need anything as robust, or maybe you like the smaller form factor, the Acer is a great alternative. Now, as far as the speakers goes, I'm using the Bose Companion 5, and these have also kind of turned into a secret trick of the setup, so to speak. What I love about these speakers is the fact that they come with a super handy volume control, which I was actually able to mount underneath the desk, which makes it easy to access and also hides it, keeping the setup clean and tidy. So rounds out the setup across the rest of the desk, I have some classic fake Ikea greenery, followed by this super cool Solar Blaze Mega Man from Pixel Pals that actually lights up like so amazing. Popping this guy back on the desk with the no look action. On the other side of the desk is the Breath of the Wild Zelda Amiibo. Next to that is not super necessary for the setup, but I just really loved how the blue matched the Nintendo Switch theme. This is the Bose Soundlink in aquatic blue. These come in a few different colors, and while they're not the ideal setup for a desk, they do make a fantastic portable Bluetooth speaker. Lastly, as far as the keyboard and mouse go, this is actually a really good deal from Jellycomb. It's both the mouse and the keyboard as a pair for 30 freaking bucks. Before I forget though, because I know someone is gonna yell at me if I don't talk about it, the artwork above me is a Super Mario Banksy canvas that I found on Amazon, and I'll make sure to post a link to it and everything we talked about down below. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to smash that like button, and if you haven't caught it yet, there is still a chance to win a brand new Nintendo Switch, which you can check out here. Also, my buddy Kevin Kenson may have figured a way to get wireless charging on the Nintendo Switch that is here. This is Jonathan, and I will catch you guys later. Reach for the sky. The double flip. <laughs> John's dead.